rugby. Here's his kick. And he's nailed it. And the All Blacks are the world champions for the second time. I knew that no team had done it back-to-back. -back. We wanted to be the most dominant team ever as an all-black squad. And we knew that 2011 was tough, but we knew that 2015 was going to be tougher. And... There is no greater rivalry in rugby. Few rivalries to match it on any sport. Second most experience in any Rugby World Cup match, a staggering 988 caps. Great expectations, I guess, amongst New Zealand fans. The chance for the fringe to prove they have what it takes. Desperately want to be the first nation to hold the trophy three times. At that stage, I think I might have been 23 years old. I don't think I'd even captain Super Rugby. Um, sort of really blindsided me. What a big moment for Sam Kane, who becomes the 67th man to captain this iconic rugby team. Didn't see it coming, but um, it was just a, I realised the, the massive honour that, that came with that responsibility. That's a lovely gesture. Just a word there from his opposite number for the night. New Zealand against Namibia. Oh, for now. The Webb Ellis Trophy is with New Zealand. Won in the final in Auckland four years ago. Their second match of the tournament against Namibia. There's Richie McCaw, who tonight sits on the all-black bench, along with Kieran Reid. So they've got plenty of power in reserve. So all in readiness now. Namibia won the toss and they have chosen to kick off and it will be Turns Kotsa to set the match here underway. And at last, Namibia's World Cup tournament is underway here at the Olympic Stadium in East London. Now Williams has it, flings the pass wide, quickly through the hands and here's Julian Savia storming down the left wing side. Eventually taken, but only 10 metres from the corner. Slade got rid of it quickly. Farmoina in centre field. And Franks will set it. They can go back the other way where Williams is waiting. Pops the pass to Slade. Vito! And the All Blacks are in for the first try of the game. Vicky Toa moving it wide. Milner scudder. Try of the game, Nehi Milner Scudder. Here's an opportunity for their first points of the tournament. Jens Kotzer, who plays for Bourgogne Bresse in France, and he's a very good striker of the ball. And over it goes. So Namibia have points on the board. New Zealand lead 15 to 3. All Blacks will try and make something with the possession. Barrett pops it up to Sonny Bell Williams. Oh, beautiful! Sunny Bill Williams. 
struggling to win any first phase possession, line out or scrum. Cody Taylor won't be liking <laughs> that on the uh, on the big screen. He is trying to get another three. He really is a very good goal kicker. Turns pops it. And, and Barrett running quickly onto it. just on the wrong side. This place, it holds the noise very, very well, and no doubt Phil Davis will be hoping that his Namibian team can, can feed from that. Wow. Crutch. Milner Scudder really hugging the touchline on the far side as well, so plenty of options at their disposal. Got to get it in and out of the scrum. Vito, away to Peronara, who runs, stabs a little kick through. Williams is after it. The offload. The the now here's Sabia. Miller scatter into the corner. Kotsa, who was successful with two penalties in the first half, can he make it three out of three and give his team first points after the break? Certainly got the distance, and the crowd rises as Namibia score first in the second half. It's 34 points to nine. So the throw from Finjasfeld. Unibi goes up and Finjasfeld comes storming around the back of the line out the hooker. Put on the ground by his opposite number, Taylor. Now here's Brookman charging at them. Five metres from the line. The crowd start to roar as they sense here's a chance for Namibia to get the ball over the line. Van Lil. Pass goes deep to Kotsa. Now here's Dacel charging at the line. from the crowd such determination in the running fends off three and so deserves that Phil Davis can't believe it try and shove this over from a driving mall here Kane has it in the back oh they go to the short side Sabia unstoppable and 50 up for the All Blacks pops the ball away to Kane Flicked away by Tawara Kerbalo. Feki Toa now, dangerous broken play runner. Now Barrett kicks out towards Nehi Milner, scatters wing, gets the ball, passes it back in field, and Cody Taylor is in for a test try. The conversion from wide out is a good one, and it's 58 points to 14, and that is the end of the game. So, a strong finish from the All Blacks. Cody Taylor's try and the conversion by Bowden Barrett, the final act, 58 to 14. Yeah, credit to Namibia, they put us under a lot of pressure and I think, uh, you know, that probably was a, a good spectacle for the crowd to watch, uh, but credit to them, they put a lot of pressure on it, breakdown, uh, they fought throughout the whole 80 minutes and never gave in and, uh, you know, it put us under a bit of pressure at times. You know, we've all uh, got a bit of rust out and got out on the track now, so we'll uh, we'll take what we can from this game and move on. And your first run out as captain. Congratulations, Sam. Well done. Thank you very much. The second quarter final of Rugby World Cup 2015 and history repeats as. France and New Zealand returned to the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff where they faced off at the same stage eight years ago. Wonderful scenes around Cardiff as thousands of fans converge on the city. French fans have come across the channel in force, in expectation, in hope, and certainly in anticipation of another epic match between these sides. McCaw and fly half Dan Carter, the only survivors of the loss to France here, 
the French have to turn up and defend heroically to stop this juggernaut of talent. Massive support for Les Bleu. I guess the thought of being discounted as World Cup prospects forces them to look deep within. And the thing about the French is that they always seem to have one big game in them. Magnificent roar goes up in the stadium. The crowd today taking the total paying number of fans for this tournament past two million. Two of the greats of the game opposing each other as captains tonight. Thierry Dussotois, Richie McCaw. They've been here before. Anticipation of what lies ahead. Well, France always face the All Black Hucker in their own way. What will the response be tonight? The All Blacks form the arrowhead set up and remember what happened the last time they met in the World Cup final. The French advanced. Will they do it tonight? Silence from the crowd and drilled right down the middle. Throws it up to just one point. But he has hooked it. Has a charge. Such a hard man to stop. It's a big one, I'd say. It's actually New Zealand that are winning the ball in the air, aren't they? Well, this at the breakdown. Pape with the big hit. Conrad Smith, a show of the ball in the off -way. Look at the impending New Zealand cover and defence. Girardo, oh, incredible pace to get back. Oh, now some room for Carter, the bend. Oh, brilliant ball to Sabia! This is magnificent from the All Blacks. And they're in for their third try. The ball came across and made the tackle. Very solid contact. Loose ball in centre field. Scooped up by Pickham. Short, 
Carter calmly puts it high. Ben Smith with the chase. And he's got it, Ben Smith. Spinning's gone down on a heat. Brilliant take, and now the French are in all sorts of trouble. Smith is just picking off defenders running backwards and he still had work to do but my goodness me he made it look easy bumping off two world-class defenders spending his no slouch in defense Saber just showing what class of power he has but it's the determination that got him over the line well it's his second try Tales wasn't expecting Saver off his own line out to be running at him. Well, LaRue's not happy about something. And we have a player on the ground. It's Richie McCaw. You come in and you put your fist into his face. Whatever happens, there is no excuse for that. On this occasion, I'm going to give you a yellow card. Is that clear? And that is 10 minutes. Off you go, please. Well, he's against you. Too good. Makes ground. Nice ball into space. Charlie Balmolina. Oh, this is wonderful stuff from the All Blacks. And Kieran Reid is in for the try. But how about the tight forwards combining? Beautiful offload from Sunny Bell Williams and Carvalho's in for the try. That's it okay for you boys. Carter moves it on. Barrett. Retallick bounces the pass to Reid. Turns it back and field. Moody goes on another big run. Oh, boy! This is unbelievable! They can all play. They can all score. And now they can all celebrate. Carter going back. Still got some gas in the tank. The ball goes out. Stunning performance from the All Blacks. 62 to 13. And they stamp their mark on this World Cup in real style. Annihilation by New Zealand. France, no answer to the power of Richie McCaw's team. Incredible masterclass from the Kiwis. Strength in depth. Resting their players, ominous for the rest of the world. It is, many believe, the greatest rivalry in rugby. And this afternoon at Twickenham, South Africa and New Zealand meet to decide the first of the finalists at Rugby World Cup 2015. He has a man who needs to crown off what has been an outstanding career by taking his team into the final and quite possibly winning it. Decision maker extraordinaire, you'll look to defend the channel strongly. The Springboks gunning for a third title, a third final. They've only ever once been beaten at the semi-final stage. They have some recent form and results against them in clashes with their old foe. New Zealand desperately want to be the first nation to hold the trophy three times. They have yet to win a final away from home, yet to win a semi-final in the Northern Hemisphere. So for one of these teams, history will have to change today. Oh, Twickenham awaits a clash of rugby's iconic teams. The Springboks of South Africa, the All Blacks of New Zealand. There is no greater rivalry in rugby. Few rivalries to match it on any sport. Now they face off with a place in the 2015 Rugby World Cup at stake. A rivalry forged in the early 20s, often brutal, very often controversial, sometimes quite spectacular and never dull. A rivalry that burns deep in the psyche of these two proud nations.
nations, New Zealand and South Africa. Exhilarating, eyeball to eyeball, and in a moment, body to body. And now, it is the clash to decide which team will go first in the Rugby World Cup 2015 final. Takes it away, away to the right. Ben Smith up on the line. McCall floating a pass. Kano! Kano's in! Oh, great hands from the All Blacks. And Jerome Kano scores. It's the perfect response from the All Blacks. They went the blind side three or four times already in a short space of five minutes. As the drizzle falls again at Twickenham. down the middle. Seven six. Now some early penalties going against the All Blacks. Almost a little kick pass. How close was this to being kept in play? Comes with a bit of momentum. Good hard jump. And still had the presence of mind to get going. And again he drills it. There he is. Yeah, a lot of blood. Good hands. Conrad Smith. Here, Josh. You can see he got across well to make the tackle. And penalised there anyway. Four elbows on the floor and then scooping the ball on the yeah. way back. There's the shoulder charge from Skulkberger. No arms. Quite right. Quite well picked up by Jerome Garces. And that one is going to come off the upright. Loose ball. Dupria takes it. And uh, eventually get it away downfield, they'll put it into touch. Pull into a genuine tackle, a hold up into a tackle. Strong work from the two roommates. So I thought Dan Carter may have had a shot at winning a penalty here himself. Look at this, he's up very quickly, gets his hands on the ball. Spools, spools out the back there. Dan oh, Carter. he's going to go for the yellow card. He's seen it up on the scoreboard. Rob Sides, it's going to be red. Virgie on cynical. Jerome Goss, he saw it on the big screen, changed his mind, and the yellow card it is. Hasn't looked like missing so far. And still hasn't missed. It's 12 7, and New Zealand are down to 14. Knocked down to McCaw, who loses it, but Aaron Smith now has it. Carter has a drop kick. Carter! There. Nothing intentional in a banner's actions. Almost fell into him. Oh, it's a horrible attempt at pickup. Bounce of a, an odd-shaped ball. 
Scott Berger lost it in the tackle, stripped out by Dan Cotter. Good, strong defence this time round from the men in black. I think this has been knocked away by Bismarck Duplessis, but Carter has it. On it goes to Nonu. Martin Nonu trying to set it up, but Garrett is for the try. The All Blacks are back in front. Foden Barrett scores off the bench. The body position is good. The constant pressure coming from oh, South yeah. Africa. And Connie driving. Surely Falmina back. Oh, Pollard looking for five out of five. Has not looked like missing. He's put one penalty attempt into the posts. This time he's down the middle. And New Zealand restore the advantage of five points. It's 20 to 15, and we're almost three quarters of the way through the game. Number 10 injury. Kieran Reid against Fareed Dupree. You might have fancied Kieran Reid in those circumstances. Clearly, there's been a discussion about the little grubber in behind. So now the hush comes over the crowd again. He looked, to say, perplexed, but I think the replay tells the story. They need this. And Pat Lambie delivers. <laughs> Superbly taken. Coolly taken by Lambie. Costing the All Blacks. Well, the Springboks are going to drive this. Came off the side a little bit. Great steal. Super competing on the ground, making it so hard for the ball carrier to retain possession. And he goes sandwiched between the two big fellas. Here's the steal from Whitelock. That's just incredible reading of the lineup. Brilliant towering leap. One hand. It's good for the extension of the hands, the full extension of the arms. Can the Springboks pull up something extraordinary on attack? Mialamu goes over the ball. Referee says it's OK. The Springboks, the heart still beats. successive Rugby World Cup final. How does that sound? Well, that's what we came here to do, is uh, to give ourselves an opportunity, and I guess we're doing it the hard way today, but we always knew that was going to be the case against Springboks, and, yeah, it's just exciting we get uh, get a crack at the uh, the final next week. You know, sometimes when you get un put on adversity, when you're down to 14, uh, you just find that little bit extra, and everyone had to make up for that, and I thought, you know, we, uh, we held our composure well, and right into the field, especially with the greasy ball, and, you know, the points came. The All Blacks in the end with two tries, and they have won it by 20 points to 18. They're into the final. Famous concentrating eyes of Dan Carter in that famous boot as well. You can see the body position here. Ledesma has got them really, really low. Foley, they call him the Iceman. He has been ice cool in some big games. Good solid start. She's happy there. Three apiece. one on one. Gitto, courageous in defence. Here's the tackle from Capo to Rondi the neck. Very simple plays to his first penalty. A mile forward. It's a, it's a mile forward, and it's a terrible, terrible decision from Nigel Owens and Wayne Barnes on the far side. Passes way forward. It gives. New Zealand have a chance, an opportunity here with a penalty. It should have been scrumped Australia. Aaron 
Aaron Smith. Conrad Smith. Aaron Smith. Here it comes. The call. Miller Scudder. Absolutely typical. New Zealand skills at their best when it matters most. Utter, utter class. They have the first try, the first meeting between these two in a World Cup final. Looking now for a lead. 16-3 at half-time. And Dan Carter, last in a World Cup final, producing his very best. That's the halfway line. Cannon gets it back to Smith and Carter. And then Sonny Bill Williams looks for one of those offloads. Finds Milner Scudder, who's almost high again from Kepu. Sonny Bill Williams to Nonu now, and Nonu finds a way through, steps, oh, Nonu might go and score here! Mitchell with a tackle, Nonu! The All Blacks are on their way to a very special place in World Cup history. Foley, oh, might be some space here for Foley. Goes on one of those jinking runs. It is you starting to open up a bit. And for Australia, that is good news. Get here again to Adam Ashley Cooper. They were calling outside. Ashley Cooper goes on. Determined to get something on this attack. Australia have to get something here. They know that. Mitchell, a little bit of a tip there. Crowd don't like it. Get here. Looks at the try line. So does Adam Ashley that. Cooper. You're too short, I can't allow the crawling. We have a foul play flag back here. Oh. Time out. So it's no try. Because there's more than one movement. Black, lifting the player, but on the, on this the is for the potential okay. tip. Uh, Listen to what you, you guys said. the conversation? Yes. Just give us a look, and please. On okay, the, uh, it's going to come. On the tackle by 15 Black. It comes. He's lifting a leg. Oh, there it is, dangerous. Which he looks concerned, doesn't he? Yeah. It's, it's not a marginal, just if you've risen quite high above the horizontal and he's gone down the shoulder, and there is a yellow card offence, OK? Lucky. Off you go, please, thank you. Could have been yeah, let him go off and I'll put the time on, OK? Time on. He fell on his shoulder and he didn't think it was malicious, so... Letter of the law. It is ten minutes for Australia to work with here. Let's stop. Ewes will. And Pocock. And Pocock. What a way to start that Simbin period. And is that two points? Yes, it is. Digs deep and he makes it. Keep coming! But it's still in. Okay, all on. Here goes Kirtley Beale. No, all on. Score now for Australia. I guess very interesting indeed. The core goes sprawling all over the top. Genia. Oh, there might be a bit of space in behind here. There is. And it's back into Australian hands. And it's Corandrani! Oh, oh. Game on. in a row, Australia have played here at Twickenham and they love it because they win here beautiful kick from Genia and the bounce just sits up and it has a presence of mind Foley to stay on his feet as long as possible to get the offload away to Kundrani the pressure, do something silly, and they need a cheeky three points here. Very congested there in midfield, as New Zealand try and find a way through. Smith feeds to Kano. Let it go! Smith again. Carter goes for the drop goal. Dan Carter! What a kick! He 
did it against South Africa, and he's done it again in the final. Crucial penalty to give away. See the pressure from Slipper, from Holmes. This would be the moment if this goes over. Carter for New Zealand. Oh, it's going to be close. It's there. Carter has done it. Is that a kick to win the World Cup? To beat the neighbour, the great rival all in one glorious go. Is that the moment to be treasured forever? Now just over two minutes. World champion defence. And not the two scores. Mitchell given away. Ben Smith. Barrett is chasing. He's got poke off for speed. This is Bowden Barrett control this. And the cup is his. It's New Zealand. And it's history. Confirmed. To back World Cups. And there is no restart. World class defence. Australia throwing everything at them. Not even the fantastic Drew Mitchell can break that defence. Dan Carter with that conversion, two more points, and he is man of the match. The man who stayed playing for this. Sonny Bill Williams still looking to play. The All Blacks still the kicks of World Rugby. Is this the greatest ever era, even for New Zealand? Well, it feels like it right now. The magnificent McCall and Carter keep their hands on the Rugby World Cup. Sending off all those legends the way we did, I will always be forever humbled that I took part in a team that was so dominant um, and really sort of set the bar for what All Blacks' excellence was all about. You know, I'm so proud of the way the guys uh, have done that today. You know, we played some damn good rugby there. We lost a bit of momentum in the second half, but we kept our composure and, you know, we came home strong, which has uh, been a hallmark of this team for the last four years. Ladies and gentlemen, will now present the Web Ellis Cup to Richie McCall. It's never been about him, never will be, if he's got anything to do with it. But he gets this chance to do something now that nobody else has done, to hold on to a second World Cup, a third cup for his nation, a first on overseas soil.